one more question I had for you. Can we find a healthy water outside of having to filter it or use ionizers? I mean, we've talked to certain people that said, you know, you can, but you'd have to look high in a natural spring in the mountains or, I mean, we just don't have access to it. Is that the truth, do you think? The healing waters found naturally in the world contain molecular hydrogen. Teclate, Mexico is a place, Lourdes, France, you might have heard of, and the Himalaya Mountains where the Hunzas lived 120 years without disease are drinking living crystal alkaline water. What do I mean by living crystal? When you take ionized alkaline water, look at it under an electron microscope, it looks like a snowflake. It's hexagonal in shape. You take bottled water, put that under electron microscope, what do you get? Nothing because there's no minerals in it. You need water to have minerals to form a living crystal. And this is what Americans are drinking, bottled water by the tonnage. Now think about this. People are buying water from other parts of the world, Fiji for instance. Thousands of gallons every few minutes are sucked out of the ground from an aquifer, moved halfway across the world, and they go into the ground of Los Angeles, New York, Ohio, wherever it is in places that that water really should have went back into the ground in Fiji. It's been doing it since the beginning of time. All the water that ever was recirculates in the same place and we're moving it around the world without thinking of the consequences and how that's changing global warming, how it's changing the terrain. Uh, companies like um, Nestle's. Nestle's doesn't believe that water should be free. They think water should be privatized, and they go into areas such as um, Michigan, Mount Shasta, California, and they start taking the water and selling it and bottling it and sucking it out of the ground. And what happens with those places? The groundwater starts to de decrease. People can't use it for crops anymore. Mount Shasta, California is the only place I know of that Fort Nestle's and won. Every other area they lost. Nestle's owns 160 bottled water companies that I know of. Arrowhead, Crystal Springs, Crystal Geyser, um, on and Zephyr Hills, and on and on and on and on. They own all these different companies. It's amazing. Bottled water is $8 billion a month, almost $100 billion a year. They don't want to give that up. Water should be free. Think about this. Would you pay to breathe air? That's what you're doing when you're buying water by the bottle. It's not spiritually correct to sell water. I don't sell water. I sell people the ability to make water for pennies a day for the rest of their life. And that is a good thing because when they start drinking the alkaline water, they start to crave alkaline foods. When your body's acidic, you're eating beef, chicken, cheese, processed foods, you crave acid-based foods. You crave acid-based drinks bottled water, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, everything that's acidic, you start to crave it because the body craves what it's used to. When you start drinking ionized alkaline water, you start to crave more raw foods, more vegetables that are alkaline. So in a way, your tongue becomes a barometer to lead you down the path to health.